How's it going ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I wanna talk about some of the new features to be found in iOS 7.0.3. Now this was just released yesterday and it brings with it a, a nice helping of different features and bug fixes. So we're gonna highlight some of the more prominent features here uh, for iOS 7.0.3. The first feature that I wanna talk about is something I actually already talked about before. Uh, that is under the settings general and the accessibility, the reduce motion feature, which basically removes the zooming in and out feature on iOS. And this allows you to uh, use your device without having motion sickness if you're susceptible to motion sickness. Personally, I really love the way iOS 7 animates, so I don't wanna turn that off because motion sickness doesn't affect me at all. Um, let's talk about another feature that's kind of under the radar, and that is Spotlight Search. Uh, Spotlight Search in the past, in previous versions of iOS 7, you could not uh, perform a wiki Wikipedia or a web search. For whatever reason, that was removed in an earlier version of iOS 7, but now it is back uh, where it belongs. Right there in Spotlight Search, you can perform a web search or a Wikipedia search directly from Spotlight. So you just tap on Wikipedia, it loads up the Wikipedia page for Maldives, and of course you can go back and do the search again just on the website, or just on the web, a Google search, and that'll pull up a Google search for you. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is something that really only I iPhone 5S owners are gonna appreciate, and that is the slide to unlock wording at the bottom of the screen no longer appears immediately uh, when you get to your lock screen if you have Touch ID enabled. It takes a while to fade in, about three seconds. That way you can just use Touch ID, you can enjoy your wallpaper because there's no need to slide to unlock you have Touch ID right there. Uh, so that's really cool, especially if you have some nice wallpaper, you can really enjoy that without having that textual overlay right there on top of it. Now the last feature we're gonna talk about here is uh, of course iCloud Keychain. Now this was a feature that was removed uh, on some of the earlier versions of iOS 7. Um, it was in the, some of the beta versions initially, then it was removed and now it's actually back to coincide with the Mavericks release. And this allows you to save passwords and stuff and sync them uh, across all your devices and save credit cards and stuff like that. So it's really cool. So folks, this has been an overview of iOS 7.0.3. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.